Dolls and Gents. Tis I. And I'm going to get a shadow from this stupid light. No matter what I do. Let me go this way. Didn't want the TV to be behind me, but... Anyways. So, I'm coming at you with another nail video. And the irritation that I have in this video is like ridiculous because these were the nails for my birthday okay so you're going to see this video a little late but these are, the, these are the nails that i got the week before my birthday and i'm really really irritated because the lady messed up my whole experience my whole experience of what i wanted um this is not even what i wanted but i tweaked it a little bit before i start this video those of you who are asking me why i don't just do my own nails i don't feel like it that's number one I don't feel like doing my own nails. Number two, I have expressed several times that I have not gotten sealing the cuticles down packed. If you do not know what that means, it means that if your cuticles are not sealed properly, you're going to get lifting and you're going to get mold, water mold and stuff. And that's when you start seeing green. It's not a fungus. It's a water mold that you see in the nails. And I know how to get it out and I know how to deal with it. But I hate the look of it while it wears out. And I hate the look of it on the nails. And I just hate dealing with it. Whenever I do my nails, um, I have to do them over at least once a week. And I hate that. So that is the answer to your question. If you don't like going through the nail struggle with me of trying to find a good nail tech and someone is worth my while, then don't watch my nail videos because I don't want to do them myself. I love the luxury of getting my nails done. I have said this tons and tons of times. So go back and watch some old videos before you suggest that I do my own nails. I am thinking about after this time, um, trying to start doing them again. I'm not super excited about that. So here's the girls. I did come home and put the big stone on there with the rhinestones going down. And I did come home and I put the little stones going there. So I didn't want to go back pink. And also, there's like a rust color. What I showed her was a pink, a glitter, and a rust. A pink, a glitter, and a rust. That's what I showed her. Anyway. I get there, everything's cool, she's doing my nails. Now, mind you, the last time I went and got my nails done, she was like, how long do you plan on growing out your nails? And I thought she was just making conversation. And so I was like, not, you know, not much longer than this. You know, I don't plan on growing much longer than this. You know, I'm older now, my younger years, I would have let them go pretty much. But I like the length that they're at, well, not this length, y'all will hit a story. But the length that they were at, um, I could have went that length or an inch longer, but not much longer than that or whatever. Um, so that was the last time I was there, she was asking me. so, And then she asked me how long have I been wearing them like that. And I told her it's been over 27 years. I've worn my nails this long for over 27 years. And she's like, oh, okay, because I know girls that wear long nails. You know, these girls are getting long nails now, but not this long. So I was like, yeah, it's been a long time or whatever, whatever. So this time when I went on a Saturday one o'clock she's doing my nails and she's drilling the stuff off the gel polish off and she's like i don't think no she said i don't think i'm gonna be able to keep doing your nails if they get any longer this is too long for me now i didn't feel like my nails grew at all i mean i can see the little bit of white in between the nail bed and your nail to tell you how much your nails grew i'm just looking at how lumpy she has Never mind how much your nails grew, but I couldn't really tell. They didn't look longer to me. So I said, huh? So she was like, if they get much longer, I don't think I can do. I can do. I can't do if they get much longer or whatever. So I said, so do you not know how to do them if they get too long? Or are you saying you don't want to do them? What are you saying? And she's Chinese and we got on masks. Um, she said something to the effect of she can do long, but too, too long. I think she said it makes her nervous. I think that's what she said. I think. Um, and I said, okay. And then she said, take up too much time, too much time. I really busy too much time. I said, oh, so you want money. You're charging me. 
But instead of charging me an extra $10, $10 or whatever, whatever, you want me to get out your chair so you can do somebody else to make some more money. No, I just saying they too long and I can't do too long and and it's busy. I said, okay. I said, so what do you want? I said, okay, it's a Saturday. I understand Saturdays are very busy and you only spend an hour on my nails. I said, so you want me to come on a weekday during the week? And she was like, during the week be better. During the I said, okay. I can come during the week. I said, now, how short do you want them? Because I'm not going to cut them extremely short. And I don't need to come back to you if you're not going to do my nails. And she was like, um, just a little bit, little bit, just a little bit. Um, how they were when you first came was good. That was good for me. So I said, do you want to take some off now? Because I wanted to see what she was talking about. So she was like, I could take down now. You want me to take that? I said, you could take a little bit off now. So she took a little bit off. She asked me where. I watched her. She didn't even take an inch off. Like, to me, she just, to me, it was Saturday. It's busy. Y'all got y'all stimulus. Y'all got y'all income tax. She need to get as much people in and out as she can. I hear the girl on the phone. People calling in saying y'all fully booked for the day. Her chair, because she's the owner, is right by the door. So there are people walking in to get their nails done. And she's telling them she's booked for the day. She can't do no more. So here's my thing. Even if I didn't come today and I came on a weekday, you are booked for the day. You couldn't have did but two more people. If you're doing people every 30 minutes, you couldn't have did but one person and one more person. You weren't going to get a lot accomplished if I didn't come on a Saturday anyways. Because you can only handle so much. You're booked. I'm only taking up the space of one person if you're counting that you want to get people in and out in 30 minutes. Now, what I don't understand about that is y'all not doing a full set in 30 minutes. So... The people that's coming in to get a full set, you t there was a girl sitting across from me getting a full set with color acrylic powder, and she was there as long as I was. So t you're taking an hour on her, but you can't take an hour on me. It all pissed me off. It all pissed me off. So then you were supposed to grab three colors off the shelf because I showed you what I wanted when I started. She said something about take a long time to polish and all of that. First of all, I'm not asking you to do design, designs or nothing. You're doing gel polish, so you do a coat, put me under the lamp, do a coat, put me under the lamp, whatever. I'm irritated. I'm rubbed the wrong way. I may go back to her. I may not. What I am going to do, um, I did contact my girl Nunu, my girl Nunu, and um, another friend that I talked to, and they gave me some tips on how I can possibly c curb the lifting when I do it myself. What I'm going to do is a week before it's time for me to go get my nails done, I am going to stop in these other three shops that I've seen on back and forth on my way to work. I have seen these other shops back and forth on my way to work. I am going to stop in there and see if there's anybody in there that does long nails. Now, I've already stopped in one and they told me they didn't have anybody. Um, so... I'm going to stop in these other ones and see if they have anybody in there that does long nails, okay? Um, also, she cut me. I didn't realize till I left there, and this lady has never cut me. My pinky is cut. My pinky is cut. And there's another one that's cut. And I didn't notice it till I left there because even though she did my nails and put cuticle oil on them, when I got in the car, I sanitized and that's when I felt the burn. And I looked and there was a little bit of blood on this one. Um, it's gotten a lot better. This was yesterday. I'm filming this the next day. I got my nails done yesterday when I'm doing this video. Um, so it is healing. But she has never cut me. And I'm not saying that you won't get cut when you go into a nail salon. What I'm saying is she was rushing. She was rushing. She was trying to get me out of the chair. Look at the lump. Can y'all see that V right there? Look at that. Lumpy sides. Lumpy sides. So I'm getting ready to get my drill and fix my sides. But I am going to start purchasing more product to start doing it myself like I was doing during quarantine. Um... I may not do them right away because if I can find another shop that will do them, I'm going to go to that shop. So I may not do them myself right away. I may just find another shop to do them. If I can't find another shop to do them by the time it's time to get them done over again. See, I'm debating. 
She just, she done rubbed me the wrong way. And when you rub me the wrong way, I don't fool with you no more. And I'm debating on whether to take the polish off before I go to her. Cut them down a little bit and go to her. I'm finna do half your job. I'm finna take the polish off before I come to you. And I'm gonna cut them down a little bit before I come to you. But I don't like the whole experience of how she did it. I don't like how she approached it. First of all, we got mask on and you talking loud and people turning around looking at me because you telling me you can't do my nails if they get much longer. Drawing attention to me. I don't like that you cut me. You've never cut me before. I feel like you was rushing. And what you rushing for? It take you an hour to do my nails every single time. It still took you an hour. And your appointments, you're booked for the day. What you rushing for? What you trying to get me out of the chair in 30 minutes so you can take a walk in? You still could not have taken all of those people that were trying to walk in. So, the Lord knows I don't want to go back to her. I don't want to go back to her at all. Um, I don't want to go back to her. And in this video, I may go ahead and put... Her na the name of the shop and everything or whatever and put her on blast because I don't want to go back to her. Um, she was rude and um, within the next two weeks, three weeks, I will be driving around to different shops trying to see if I can find someone else to go to for my next time. So, yeah. I didn't want pink again i think i just got done doing a hot hot pink didn't i like two or three videos ago um so I, i'm gonna enjoy my birthday weekend anyways i throw my stones on there um i was gonna try to do some foil and um try to put some more stuff on here but i decided not to even try to mess it up i'm gonna leave them how they are so i'm gonna go shape them up and get the sides right let me know what y'all think i mean they still cute you know they cute and I don't know if y'all could even tell she took an inch off. I don't even think she took a full inch off. I don't even know if she took a full inch off. And I don't know if y'all could tell. They're still long. So to me, she didn't even take that much off. She just, I don't know. Maybe she was just having a bad day and she seen how much, but how much money she was losing. But you were fully booked for the day. So no matter if it was me or not. No matter how many people would have came to get their nails done Saturday. You could not do them. You were fully booked for the day. You were turning them away. Because you were fully booked. So. But if I am forced to go back to her. I will make my appointment during the week. And I will see what she says. And if I still get that vibe. I will not go back. Y'all know me. I will not. She has cross the line with me i don't know what it is about nails now that nails have become a big old thing nails weren't even as big of a thing back in i've been wearing nails for 27 years y'all didn't even care about nails when i was wearing nails y'all ain't even care not everybody got on mother freaking nails and not everybody want to act stupid as hell let me go